Hi, beloved. So what I was saying just now, right, was there's no way that that picture could pop up on my screen just like that. There's no way. So I think Abhijit is trying to get my attention to focus on the tree of life. Um, the tree of life. So that just appeared, and eh, nothing happens without a good, nothing happened without a reason. So um, also, um, I wasn't going because I already went Tuesday, but I went. I just went, pulled his voice, and I went. And the word went out like fire, but um, there was a lot of meeting people. Um, Tanisha bore witness that Oh, Jesus, calm down the landlord, just like we prayed. And um, just like he promised. And um, also, she had like a bleeding problem. That stopped, she said, when I prayed for her. Um, that was from a testimony. And Sophia showed up and Sophia had like pins under her feet. It was like sticking under her feet. And I, somebody's definitely trying to stop her from uh, a little business that she has selling stuff. So um, I prayed with her and she was shaking all over the place and spinning and all this kind of, not completely, but you know, like like that kind of thing. And um, there was another guy, um, so Sophia got delivered from that and uh, whatever was left her feet so it's like witchcraft. Somebody's trying to just hold her down so she doesn't sell what she's selling. You know, she sells like pens and pencils and then we elevated her to sell like ladies on the garments, bras and that kind of thing. So just going higher and higher. And um, then there's this guy, um, Rupchan. He was anxiously waiting to speak to me, but while I was praying for Sophia, a woman crossed the street and she, um, I can't remember the lady's name for the love of me. Okay, um, Lily, she crossed the street and she was waiting anxiously for me to pray for her. And, um, I heard in the spirit, Marla's sister. Who's Marla? And then I said, are you Marla's sister? And she's like, yeah, Marla's sister. I'm like, so oh, Jesus gave her um, a word of wisdom and blessed her and encouraged her because she was dealing with a lot of mocking, mocking and scoffing spirits in her street. She was greatly encouraged. And then um, Rob Chan, he was waiting to speak to me after I was praying for her. So, um, oh, he asked me, he said, should a pastor Oh, so he has, he has a, um, a child and he was asking me, should a pastor intervene uh, if his ex, the mother of his child, got married and um, didn't allow him to see the children? So he was asking if should a pastor intervene and lie so that she could have all rights and... Um, I gave him some words about that and um, how Abba says that, you know, many say, Lord, Lord, but they're not really serving him. And um, he was greatly encouraged because apparently a pastor lied to um, court or judge or whatever, lied about... Stop. So a pastor lied to a court or something, I don't know about the child being his and um, was basically trying to just give his ex and her new husband the child. So he went away pleased. And then um, some lady, morning. Then some lady from uh, Point Fourteen. I forgot her name. Can't remember her name. She was there. Maybe I have a name on the video. I don't know. She um 
She evangelizes apparently down in that area, which is another basically like a city or district. And um, she was just so elated to see me. And uh, she was greatly encouraging and wanted to take pictures and all these kinds of things. And I just kept putting myself, I'm the dust, I'm the dust, I'm the dust with this presence, dust with this presence. So um, that was, you know, encouraging. And then uh, there were two Spanish guys, two Venezuelan guys that I was ministering to as I waited on a car. And they were like two angels protecting me because there was this like a crowd of people all around, um, all kind of shred looking guys. And these two were like on my side, like two angels. <laughs> and um, that was nice. And then I met Jose and he was um, a guy who um, did like work at the grill shop here and he left. So he was really nice, really kind. And uh, that was encouraging as well. Then another lady that was also um, just a lot of encouragement. Oh, and then Neil, Neil has a testimony where his eyes were bleeding at the back, no longer. Oh, Jesus stopped the bleeding. So last time I prayed and he went back and they checked his eyes and it's not bleeding anymore. And he said, it's just the pressure now, pressure on the eyes. So I prayed for that. And he gave a blessing, which was really nice. And he's always such an encouragement. So, um, Yes, Jesus, yes. And then to Tanisha, when I was praying for her, no, when I was finished praying for her and she was bearing testimony, she called me an angel. And um, she, um, she was talking about finding a good apartment because she got favor with that apartment that we prayed like the last time and I prophesied it to her, said so she's going to get it, and she did. But then she doesn't want to stay there. She wants a better one. And then I heard like angel. I thought she was going to say the word angel. Like Abba gave me a heads up. And as soon as she said it, there was an anointing fire that just went straight from me to her. Whoosh. And uh, she received that. She was like, so oh, and she didn't want to be on the cam because of her um, badge for her work. But um, it was just blessing after blessing. It was amazing. And um, Jav um, picked me up this morning, which was so nice. We went to the city, which was amazing. We had a really nice lunch and just good times. We had a really good time. And um, except the walking around, I chose the wrong shoe. At least I didn't wear the heels. I was going to wear the heels. Oh, I'm glad I didn't wear the heels. But um, it was so nice. And that was before we went to the city. And um, I think he just woke up or something. I don't know. I'll see here. Um, so that was good. Morning, morning. Good night, good night. <laughs> okay, so that. And then when I came home, Nothing was on my screen. Only this, um, my little Google, play, Google page was on my screen. When I came back, it's truth, life was just, <laughs> it was, it was staring. It kind of gave me a stare. It gave me, it gave me a scare because I didn't have anything on my screen. And then I just saw the angel with the flaming sword. And I'm like, wow, because when I was speaking this evening about the love of money and um, Abu was basically, um, Abu was basically connecting that he's light and there's nothing evil about him to the tree of life that heals the nations to the, to compare to the, the fake one that they're putting up in COP that. It's basically a deception to the nations that um, it's actually the tree, of, the tree of death, that one. So when I came home and I saw this picture, 
just kind of covering the screen and staring at me. I'm like, okay, I got the conviction. I got the conviction and the conviction is strong. So, um, where is it? It's not here anymore. It disappeared. What? Okay. Not weirding out. Not weird. Kind of weirding out. <laughs> Where'd it go? I didn't close it down. I didn't even touch it. What? Oh, and it's back. Where is it? I don't know where it is. Oh, it says desktop. Okay. Oh, it says desktop. So apparently it's on my desktop. So it just flew back on the screen. That's it. With the angel with the flaming sword. Right here. So Adam and Eve couldn't get to the tree of life. And, um, just like, um, I had to rush the word because the secure, er, secure, or whatever their name is called, van that comes there to collect money from the businesses when they're closing, they were there and they got some big guns and stuff. So when they park up or when they pull up, they move you to the side or they usher people to the side. So um, then when I go to the side and then people see me on the side, they come to me there. So that's what was happening. But it was amazing. It's always amazing. The king is amazing. So he's like the tree of life. That he is the tree of life. It's him we're getting life through. And, um, and, um, what was I going to say? And he was directing it to the tree of life that doesn't have darkness, doesn't have sin, doesn't have all the good things that allows us into heaven, which is eternal life. So he was connecting the dots. And I don't know if you got it when I was sharing it just now, but, um, that's what I was trying to say. So, um, yeah. So I'm just going to leave you with that for now. And, um, Shabbat Shalom. I'm going to come back on later and worship. My voice is kind of got, well, what's new, huh? We shouting all over the place. What's new? So, um, that. So I'll leave you with these things. In Jesus' name. So I guess we're going to read up on the tree of life a little bit. We're going to press in on the tree, the tree of life. There's also, there's already a word on the tree of life. But we're going to go deep. We're going to go deep, deep, deep. Because I was just going deep, deep, deep these days. Deep, deep. Put on your oxygen mask. We're going deep. So um, I've got that. I'm waiting on an angel to bring a scroll, of course. He has to bring a scroll first. Then I'm going to do the word. So I'll leave you with it. Shalom.